In this video, I'll be revealing seven incredible traits of the Cassiopeian starseeds so that you can find out if you're one of them. I'm Hayden Crawford and I'm a wellness coach and spiritual teacher specialising in colour therapy. Now, a few days ago, I woke up in the middle of the night with a word in my mind. It was Cassiopeia. Now, I hadn't heard of this before, and when this happens to me, what I normally do is go straight to Google the next day and find out what it means. Well, this is what I discovered. So, Cassiopeia is a constellation in the northern sky, and it's named after the vain queen Cassiopeia from Greek mythology, who boasted about her unrivaled beauty. Now, she's been depicted in numerous different ways throughout the course of history, from Persian, French and Chinese culture. In mythology, Cassiopeia was the wife of King Cepheus, represented by the neighbouring constellation Cepheus in the night sky. Now the story goes that Cepheus consulted an oracle who advised him that in order to appease Poseidon, that he and his wife Cassiopeia had to sacrifice their daughter Andromeda to the sea monster Cetus. Now, fortunately, Andromeda was rescued by her hero, Perseus, whom she later married. But unfortunately, poor old Cassiopeia had to wheel around on her throne in the North Celestial Pole for an eternity. So Cepheus and Cassiopeia are located next to each other in amongst the stars, along with Andromeda. And Cassiopeia was actually placed there as a punishment by Poseidon as she'd enraged him after claiming that her daughter Andromeda was far more beautiful and enigmatic than the Nereids, and that she too was far more beautiful and attractive than the sea nymphs. So I also discovered that the beings of light that inhabit Cassiopeia exist in very high vibrational frequencies. They embody the divine feminine and they exude unconditional love to all whom they make contact with. Emanating white gold light, they're humanoid with energetic tentacles, a bit like an octopus, and uh, very elongated heads. Now they have far more senses than we do as humans, so it can be quite difficult for us to be able to perceive how they experience reality. Cassiopeians are massive and display a spectrum of vivid colours. Their skin is pale green and is often crafted with really intricate body art, which is usually in the colour purple. Now, they wear violet gowns and actually purple is their colour because it reflects the neighbouring visible nebula. So, they are a non-physical, almost translucent entity that are invisible to us because they exist on a fifth dimensional frequency and above. Now, their world is full of culture and is rich and vibrant in the use of holographic technology. They have mastered the use of light and can project themselves via intent into your home and you wouldn't even realise that they were there. Now, it is within their capabilities to be able to reveal themselves, but they actually choose not to do that because they have no intention of scaring us. So, I also found out that Cassiopeians call themselves Yavia, and they're a kind and benevolent being who are really watching over us during this transitional period of time on the Earth, where many other members of the Galactic Federation of Light are doing the same thing, and they're kind of banding together to be able to make sure that we don't do anything stupid. Their empire is immense and they're connected to many other races, effortlessly transporting themselves in between star systems and different environments to be able to fight the cause of justice and harmony. Similar to the Pleiadians, the Cassiopeian race adore being of service to one another. They are exceptionally kind, understanding and compassionate, telepathic, and they have a very unique star language. Just like many other star races, they had a desire to incarnate as a group on the Earth plane. Now, this was because they had this inner yearning to be able to communicate not only astrally, but through the dreamtime state as well, giving guidance to take actions to be able to help with protesting and fighting for equality and justice. 
So as a star seed, they have these seven traits. Number one is that they are beauty bearers. Well, think about Cassiopeia. You know, she claimed that she was more beautiful than the sea nymphs. Well, in a lot of cases, you know, we recognize that beauty expands the human heart. And the Cassiopeians, they love to be able to bring beauty into this density. And they do this through various different means. It could be through art or it could be through performance. It could be through interiors or architecture or it could be through movement and dance um, or, you know, through many different artistic expressions. That's how they choose to be able to exude their energy onto this plane. Number two is that they're loving and compassionate. They absolutely adore being of service to those in need. They're so kind and loving and nurturing. They, uh, they'll go the extra mile to be able to make sure that those in need are uplifted during challenging times. And they are so empathic that they can relate to the feelings of other people and will always know what to say and how to say it to be able to rebalance them. Number three is that they are passionate communicators. Now these star seeds have impeccable verbal expression and they're not only meaningful and thoughtful speakers, but they're incredibly good listeners as well. They're optimistic and outgoing and tend to attract people who need leadership and confidence. Number four is that they are charitable and selfless humanitarians. They love working in humanitarian roles to help uplift humanity via charity or fundraising or activism. Now, there's still not that many of them on the earth plane, but the numbers are growing. They naturally gravitate towards working as volunteers in the community or with children or elderly people. Their strategic minds are perfect for building organisations and for planning any areas in life that need relief of some sort. The Cassiopeian starseeds are also found helping in disaster zones where, you know, they need to help feed people or rebuild communities that have been devastated in earthquakes or floods. Number five is that they're tall and thin. Now, here we find some of the taller people in our society, around about five foot eight to six feet tall in a lot of cases, and the same applies to both sexes. They've also got uh, very soft, gentle features and can often be very skinny as well. So they're very tall and very thin. Number six is that they have plant-based diets. Now, Cassiopeians are usually vegetarian. Now, this is because back on their own planet, they never eat meat. It actually makes them feel really sick, the mere prospect of eating the flesh of a dead animal. And finally, number seven is that they are movers and shakers. So they're usually very intelligent and have a passion for sociology. And this is because they've got a deep desire to understand how people and society work so that they can go about to inspire change on the planet. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to numerologist.com and click the bell for future notifications so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Then you can head down into the comments section and click the link to get your free video numerology report, which will unlock the secrets of your unique personality code.